Hello internet, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley, and in this video I'm going to be walking you through the process by which I turned this hideous monstrosity of a wedding dress that I found at the thrift store into a gorgeous dress that I will hopefully be selling for profit. I paid $25 for the dress and it was actually in the Halloween section of the thrift store. That is how hideous this thing was. <laughs> but as you can see, I turned it into an incredible piece that I'm really proud of. Stay tuned if you wanna see how I did it with less than $100. The first thing that I did was I created a general vision for what I thought the dress would look like. And I didn't know if I wanted to do cascading lace or a floral belt. And so I drew both options and I ended up deciding to do a combination of both. Then I went through and removed the sleeves, the high neckline, um, which extended into the caged back. And I also removed the train and all of those hideous little bows and beads from the front. And I also um, removed any buttons or anything that was metal because I did not want it to rust whenever I soaked it in the OxyClean. Then I soaked it in um, a couple scoops of powdered OxyClean in my bathtub with the hottest water that it could go to for four hours. Then I rinsed it and did it again for another four hours. And this is what the dress looked like. It got out most of that yellowing. Then I went through and pinned down the sleeves and where I cut the train off so that I could hem those um, and finish the edges. Once all of that prep work was done, I was able to do the fun part, which was sew the tulle skirt. So what I did is I just took, I think about 12 yards of tulle and I um, sewed about an inch in from the edge all the way down and then I just gathered it. Um, and I sewed it on the loosest stitch that I could have possible. Then I attached it to a ribbon and um, make sure that your measurements are spot on because you definitely don't wanna screw this part up. <laughs> The original dress was not in very good condition. It had a couple holes and it was just one thin layer of satin-like fabric, which is why I attached that tulle skirt on top of it because I figured it could act as a liner um, for the puffy, fun tulle skirt. And like I said earlier, I decided to do a combination of the lace appliques and the belt. Um, the lace appliques were actually just taken from the train that I cut off. I just went through and seam ripped all of those off and then hand sewed them um, onto this dress. And the sash is just a um, one from Michaels that I bought. It is removable, so if whoever purchases this doesn't really like pink, then um, they can totally just swap it out. But I wanted to be festive and do pink since the original dress had little pink bows on it. Either way, I think this dress turned out incredibly beautiful. I'm really proud of myself. And um, if you guys are proud of me too, then don't forget to subscribe so that I know um, that you guys enjoy my stuff. I post every Wednesday and um, share this with your friends. Comment, like, you know the drill. I'll see you guys next Wednesday, bye. Oh, also follow me on Instagram. Okay, bye.